Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Hello. This is problem four dash six. So this. In this problem, it is given that the bar has cross-sectional area of 3 square inch and E is equal to 35 into 10 to the power 3 KSI. Determine this displacement of its end A when it is subjected to distributed loading. So let's start with the given data. In given data, it is given that cross-sectional area of this bar is equal to 3 square inch modulus of elasticity is also given 35 into 10 to the power 3 ksi and we have to find the displacement of its end a when subjected to distributed loading so basically we have to find delta a so again let's start with the solution if you look at this figure, you can see that this is distributed load, which is W is equal to 500 into X power 1 by 3 LB per inch. So if you cut the uh, this bar at distance of X, so you have to draw the free body diagram. So let this is bar and that distance from this end A is X, where this is point A. And this is distributed loading that is given over here. They are in this direction. So our load will be equal to this. That is equal to P and it, that will be in right direction in order to bring this in equilibrium condition. Now how we will find this load? This load depends on this distributed load over the length of X. So we will write this PX because we will find this P with using this distributed load. So this load Px will be equal to integral of W into dx and the range will be equal to from 0 to x. Now you can put the value of this W and this W is equal to 500 into x power 1 by 3 into dx px is equal to 500 integral of 0 to x x power 1 by 3 into dx now this is very easy integration when you do this integration that will be equal to x power 1 by 3 plus 1 divided by 1 by 3 plus 1 so that will yield you 500 x power 3 so 1 plus 3 divide by again the same thing 3 1 plus 3 you should know this this is a basic LCM clear so this is equal to px so px will be equal to 500 into x power 4 by 3 divided by 4 by 3 clear and this p of x will be equal to this will be equal to this 3 will go upward and it will be equal to 500 into 3 which is equal to 1500 divided by 4 into x power 4 over 3 so this is the value of P. Now we will find elongation. For elongation we will, we will again have the same formula. Del A is equal to, this is for whole rod. So it will be equal to from 0 to L. P of X because P is a uh, function of X. As X increases P increases so total elongation in rod will be equal to integration of px into dx or area into e clear so put the value of px in this equation so it will give you integral of 0 to l and px is equal to 1500 divided by 4 into x 4 over 3 
dx is also there clear the value of a is 3 square inch and g is equal to 35 let me show this e is equal to 35 into 10 is power 6 okay so you can take out the constant value out of the integral so 1500 divided by 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 35 into 10 is power 6 and we will left with integral of 0 to l x 4 over 3 into dx so this displacement of point a will be equal to 1500 divided by 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 35 into 10 raised to power 6 and integral of x power 4 over 3 will become equal to x 4 over 3 plus 1 divided by 4 over 3 plus 1 and limit will be from 0 to L. So this 4 over 3 plus 1 will give you 7 over 3 I will write 1500 divided by 4 multiply by 3 multiply by 35 into 10 to power 6 and we will have x this 4 over 3 plus 1 will be equal to 7 over 3 and here again 7 over 3 0 to L. So 1500 this 3 will be come out uh, and will be in the numerator so 1500 div multiply by 3 divided by 4 multiply by 3 multiply by 35 into 10 to the power 6 multiply by 7 and we will only left x 7 over 3 and limit from 0 to L and L is equal to 12 or 4 feet. So we will convert it into inch. So 4 into 12. 4 inch and 1 inch. No, 4 feet and 1 feet is equal to 12 inch. So 12 into 4, 48 inch length. Now you can put this 3 will cancel with this. We will left only 1500 divided by 4 multiplied by 35 multiplied by 10 to power 6 multiplied by 7. And when you put these limits, so x is equal to 48, 48 power 7 by 3 minus 0 power 7 by 3. Again, if you take 48 power 7 by 3 and when you multiply it with this, so you will get displacement that will be equal to 0 0.0122. 8 inch and that is the answer of this question i hope it is clear to you now and you have learned from this video thank you for watching and keep supporting me